Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 29 of Direwolf20's All the Mods 8 Let's Play series, uh, where today I will be making some diopside armor. Uh, looking pretty good, right? Yeah, buddy. Check it out. Not too shabby. With my cat slippers, perfect outfit. Zero notes. Uh, so I've got pretty much, you know, everything I might want to have ready to go here. I've got my shield uh, ready in my offhand. I'm going to bring my, my flux infused bow um, just to see how well it does. I have no idea. But if things get hairy, it might be nice to, you know, be able to do stuff. So I'm going to go fight that boss now. Uh, I have no idea what I'm in for. Last episode, we did a lot of exploring in Blue Skies, checked out some underground, checked out some stuff. Now, there's a whole nother dimension um, from what I understand. And, uh, oh, cool. We got some raw falsite. That stuff's neat. Okay. Um, there's a whole nother dimension from what I understand. Um, yeah. Because we did this one. We have Ever Bright, which I assume um, we would, what we'd probably want to do is go find another one of those huts. I'm guessing. Uh, now, between episodes, I also did completely fill up my, my meat feeder, so I'm ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to put away a lot of this stuff, and I'm going to backpack my modium stuff, right? And I'll put into my AE system my diopside stuff, and I probably don't need that aqua pickaxe anymore. So let's go head towards um, the 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 due, due east of me right now. I do like the transparent shield, though. How cool is that? Normal shields aren't transparent, right? That's a pretty cool idea. Because that's always been like a pet peeve of mine, is how like how much screen real estate a shield takes up. So, you know, that's kind of cool. All right. So it said something about we want to go in here and fight like low level mobs and get keys or something. The wizard's tower. Nice. Okay. Lots of bookshelves, which is neat. Uh, some glowing blinding stone. Not seeing a lot of mobs. That's neat. Lunar trap door. Oh, block of moonstone. Okay. I hear something. I hear I heard a hmm. I heard like a illager type. High rope gemstone. Ooh, cherries. Hey, a binding key dungeon. One down, three to go. Alright. What's up, little cat? I'm not gonna harm a cat. Oh, hello there. Yeah, you are fast, aren't you, Vindicator? No loots for me? Okay. We're adventuring through a dungeon today. Also, there's other dungeons that I haven't found or explored yet either. Man, there's a lot of bookshelves here. Suspicious lever is suspicious. Two keys. Did that? Aha! Yeah, look at that sneakiness. Clever girl. How about I mark whichever path I've gone down already with a torch? Does that sound cool? Yeah, this isn't the fastest sword in the world, let's be honest. What were my other options for swords? Red means fast, but Karyite, the, the this stuff, would probably be cool. Didn't I get some as a quest reward just now? Yeah, there it is. Raw, oh, Falsite is what I got as the quest reward. Okay, Falsite. Uh, is Carrie right in this dimension or is it in the blue one? I'll see it listed here. Is it in Everbright? I haven't been through the portal yet, so I guess it's locked. Well, we'll find out. Kind of like the idea of that one better, only because, you know, faster sword and whatnot, but meh. 
and then you don't actually lead anywhere, and then you don't actually lead anywhere. So we're going to want to go out more. Well, at least I know where there's a lot of books if I ever need a lot of books. Hello. Ah. Hey, what? Give me my sword back. Now you're in trouble, Vindicator. Another key and scale fruit. Okay. Annihilating Aquite Axe of the Bowl. Sweet. Are you guys, like, locked in there? You can't do that here right now. Poor villagers. Maybe once I defeat the boss, I can go rescue them? That would be cool. Okay. Up we go. So I've got three out of four keys, right? So that means I need a fourth one uh, in order to... So we missed a key somewhere. Star Flare, huh? That's neat. Where, pray tell, would we have missed a key? So you guys are all locked up. This was, uh, this was shady. Oh, look at this. All back here with the redstoniness. Okay. Can I place blocks in here? Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh, that's sneaky. Can't even place blocks in this tower. Okay. So basically what I need to do is see where I may have missed. Missed a treasure chest. Hello, little cat. I mean you no harm. All right, well, I'm definitely missing a key. This place has no exits. They're all blocked off. All right, let me look around off camera for a few minutes because I'm lost now. I need a fourth one for sure, right? I have three? Yeah, I need a fourth. Aha! It was hiding in a brewing stand. Would you look at that? Sneaky! How sneaky is that? So I said to myself, every almost every one of these rooms had a key in it, just one, right? Um, so I said to myself that I didn't find any chests in this room. So I started looking around in here more carefully uh, and I happened to open up the brewing stand and found the key. What a sneaky, sneaky place to hide it. Oh, that is cool. All right, you ready? So I assume... Oh, trades unlocked. The gatekeeper is now selling binding keys. Oh, hello, alchemist. Ow. Oh, he does drop things on me. Ow, poison. And blinding. He hurts, huh? Now, I purposely didn't enchant any of my gear, because, you know... That's okay. Ooh, the crumbling rock thing is kind of cool. I like that. Not a huge fan of the teleporting around bit, but that's okay. I'll live. Aha! Not today, thank you. That's right, buddy. Oh, I thought I had that up in time. All right, so the, the yellow particle effects imply arrows are coming. The green particle effects are poison in the corners type of area. 
and the purple particle effects are the, the rock ball. All right, so when he's green, we go after him for sure. When he's yellow, we put up arrow shield. I think he's getting faster as his health goes down. I don't think we've seen red before. Have we seen red before? Definitely not dark red. Oh, that's a different potion effect. Okay, that's fair. Is he healing himself, you think? It was pink. That seemed like it might be potion effecty. Oh. Ah, I knocked him into lava. Was that water just a minute ago, or am I imagining things? Maybe that's what the red did? It turned the water into lava? That would be kind of cool. And now he's blinding me. Oh, look, he turned it back into water. Yeah, he keeps turning the, the lava and water into each other. I got you, Mr. Alchemist. You ain't got nothing on me. Look, you're down to hearts, buddy. You only you don't even have a number on your health bar. You have hearts now. Woohoo! Potent opponent. Check out your inventory tab. Okay. Sweet. That was neat. I liked that fight. Now did I get did I get the thing? I didn't get the thing yet. Um Alchemist's loot bag. Oh my. I got a lot of things here. Uh, Dusk Arc. Grants invisibility while sneaking with reduced smoke. Okay. Got some Horazonite ingot, Ventium. Iron Forge Spike Shield of Stubbornness. Cool. Alchemist Trophy. Star Flare Alchemy Table, which I think I can use to make some stuffs or something. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you can turn glowstone into redstone and vice versa with this thing? That's kind of cool. Mushrooms you can transmute. All right, neat burrito. There's a few things you can do in this for sure. I can make lots of horizontite ingot. That's cool. I can make ventium. Look at all the things you can do with it. There's a lot. You can transmute coal into coal coke. That's kind of cool and OP. Uh, you can make false sight ingots with 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 souls, which I, have to, I I saw something in the quest book about souls. Poison stone, huh? Okay. So I'm assuming that I want to put this dusk arc here. Now when I sneak, I'm invisible. Oh, that's cool. You can still see my armor, of course. So I get, like, the invisibility doesn't affect the armor thing, but doesn't that make it totally pointless? Well, I guess mostly pointless. I mean, I get it, but also, you know. FYI, I'm getting, uh, binding dungeon keys as quest rewards for doing this stuff. Duskark got me more keys. Spike shield. Nice. Okay. Neato. Uh, ethereal arc, huh? Increases movement speed? Ooh, I like that. Summoning table, soul down spear. Yeah, I definitely want to take on the summoner. The guardian of the ever bright tower. Now, I thought there were four bosses. Ah, so there's dungeons that have the other two. So this is the Arachnark, the boss of the poison dungeon. Okay, so we have to go find this dungeon now. So at this point, it looks like I can freely teleport between these two locations. I'm just curious, if I stick another four keys in here, does it It does spawn a new alchemist. Okay, hello. That's cool. So you can, you can actually farm this dude, it looks like. That's pretty nifty. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight him the second time off camera, because obviously, you know, no need, no need to see me do this again. Um, or I'll see if I get a different set of loots from him. But it's good to know that we can farm him. Basically, just, you know, click four binding keys on the thing, and you can fight him again. 
That's cool. Uh, now for giggles, what happens if I use this sword? I get that it's not as good and whatnot, but or this actually for that matter. Oh, so he he deflects projectiles. So no no fighting him with with that at least. Now maybe I can fight him with that spear that it said I could use. How much damage are you doing? 207 ish is where his health is at. 204. So I'm doing like three hearts with this guy. 200. So three and a half, let's say. And that's probably five, I think. So green sword better. Um, if enchanted, it would be even that much better, right? So back in a sec when he's all dead. Now I'm going to assume that. Him being a boss means that killing him with a looting sword is not going to have a good effect, but I'm still going to do it, because I can. Oh, he healed himself. A little stinker. Those purples are heals. Gotcha. Booyah! That's what's up. Alright. Alchemist Charm Fragment. Cool. Uh, another trophy. Uh, the loot bag. I'm just going to be ready to open that dude. All right, we got another one of these guys. All right, so it looks like you get kind of the same drops. I don't know if it's always the same drop from the same mob or if I just got bad RNG, but we'll find out. Um, what I am gonna do is go find that other dungeon because uh, I want to go fight another different boss now. So we want to go flying out and about. Can I break things now? Yes, I am freeing you, villagers. Go and be free. Find your own way out of here, though, because I've got places to be. Goodbye. Uh, now, is there any particular biome that we're going to find uh, the Arachnok in? If you're uh, duh, with Everdawn, there will be giant dead tree with a bunch of spider webs covering it. Gather some poison dungeon keys within to unlock the final boss fight. OK, so same kind of mechanic, right? Progress through the dungeon. Make your way to finding some keys, and then you'll be able to summon the, uh, the boss. And I assume uh, it did say uh, one of these guys somewhere. I forget. Maybe it said it somewhere else. But uh, effectively, I think I can buy these from the gatekeeper now. The 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 first villager dude that I found that kind of you know got me into this dimension. So yeah, let's go do south. Is that another? So here's, here's some trees. That's another one of those towers, which we don't need, I'm gonna say. Not seeing any cobwebby dudes. Gonna fly around a little bit off camera and come back. I wonder if I'll be able to find these with a structure compass. Oh my, look at this. Uh, this is Blue Sky's Poison Dungeon. Select. I clicked, I clicked the select button. You think he's pointing me towards it? Blue Sky's Poison Dungeon cannot be located. Perhaps try again later. Oh, there we go. Has been located in this direction. All right, Blue Sky's Poison Dungeon has been located 691 blocks away. Compass is pointing towards the structure. I like that. I'm going to say very yes. Uh, hey, there it is, the tree. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Structure compass for the win. Right? How annoying is it? Did I take fall damage? Why did I take fall damage? How am I taking fall damage all of a sudden? Is it my modium armor that was protecting me from fall damage? I thought it was because I had a jetpack. All right. Uh, yeah, we go in. I say we go in. I say that's a win. Structure compasses are cool, right? This looks like a fluid, but it's not a fluid. Glowing poison stone. Oh, can't break things. Fair enough. All right, let's use torches as a, as a guidepost. stone. No keys, though. I see you, poisony. 
At least I can place torches so I know where I've been, right? Also, no, uh, no stuff. I'm assuming I can't break the cobwebs? Oh, I can break the cobwebs. Alright, well, that's nice at least. That was nice of them to let me do that. Oh boy, this place is, uh, some serious business. I like the tower better. Only because it's very straightforward. Ah! Venom spider. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, like, this place is a maze, and that I am not a fan of. I don't want to get lost. I want to find keys and fight bosses. Product gem, glowing poison stone. I mean, I'll take a few of these things, but yeah, no keys yet. Is not ideal. Remember, I place my torches on the right side always because that's how I know where I've been and, you know, so I've been down that way before, right? Where are these keys and bosses at? I have found neither yet. Poor cat. Keys? Nope, no keys. Could have brought some, like, anti-poison charm or something. I think that exists. Anti-poison? There's a charm of poison. It's kind of the opposite of what we want. Uh, your hits poison enemies. Meh. Interesting. Some evil craft stuff. I have to get into evil craft at some point. It's been a really long time since I played with that. I don't see anything that cures poison automatically, so there might be something. I'm just not gonna spend a huge amount of time looking for it. Yeah, I am finding like zero uh, keys here, which has me a little concerned. Unless I'm missing it. Questionable rations. I agree. I'm assuming I can't break these, right? Oh, I can actually. I can actually break the spawners. Okay, neat. That's cool. Did not expect that. I thought this dungeon was like protected from blocks being broken, but nope, apparently not. Got one. Poison dungeon key. One down, one to go. Well, three to go. But still, they exist. We now know that they exist. So that's cool. So that's cool. This path does not yet look traveled. So they do exist. Okay. And they're very obviously keys, right? So that's... That's a good thing. If 
But yeah, not a fan of this place as much. Like the tower was cool because it was very straightforward. Like you, you knew what you were getting into, right? This one, not, not, not as good because it's very, you know, get losty. But maybe it's not that bad. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Okay. So I've gotten like one poison key and I feel like I need way more. And I'm not loving uh, how little luck I've had. Because that makes me worried that there's four times as much dungeon here. They have already been down here, but maybe I haven't been down this way yet. Because this hallway looks dark. The torch trick, I'm telling you, like when you're exploring, this is the way to go. 100%. There's some magma-y type things over there. No key. Oh, it goes deeper. Oh, it goes deeper. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. There better not be four levels. Because that would be upsetting. Okay, so I think... I think... There is kind of a thing on the map, right? Journey map is showing me. Alright. Not terrible. Is there a uh, quest that I can hand in? I have to kill him and then I'll get a Poison Skies key. Okay. Well, let's go down and see what we have. Maybe there'll be uh, more keys down here. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm going to remove this one because I don't want to give the indication that I've gone down those paths. I just want to do this. No more keys. I think that's where I came in at. Hello. All right, maybe I'm going to look off camera a little bit. So let's come back. Because I think at this point, it's getting a little repetitive, probably for viewership. So I'm going to come back once I find something of interest. Or maybe just all four keys and then the boss room, because that would be cool too. Be right back. Found key number two. All right, so I'm going to go on a limb and say that there's four levels to this place, and each level has one key. Because uh, I just found another drop down. And uh, yeah, that's I'm, I'm going to go on a limb because I found one key in that level. And they're very large levels, for the record. Like, very, very, very quite large levels. Um, now, it's definitely possible that that's not the case. So if I find a key in, like, one of the first chests, I'm not going to go out uh, and, and be like, nope, I'm going to jump right to the next level. Uh, what I'm going to probably want to do is explore. They're very um, big. Big is probably the word that I wanted to use in the, at the end of that sentence. I'm thinking what I might do is, because uh, we're getting really close to the end of the episode here and I kind of need to wrap up, is maybe just wrap up here, come back next episode with uh, all the keys found and get to uh, the boss fight. Because I do want to check it out on camera, but like, holy cow, are these dungeons big? And there's not, there's not a lot interesting in them, right? It's just a lot of the same. So you kind of wind up being like, all right, it's not that exciting to watch me, you know, run through this dungeon as much as I have been. Yep, so I think that's the plan. Wrapping up point for the episode. So Daryl 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's come back next time. I will have found uh, all the uh, dungeon keys and then we'll hopefully be at the boss when I start next episode. And then we'll kind of go from there. Sound cool? 
For now, that's why I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. For now, take it easy. I just want to peek in here real quick before we wrap up. Come on. Boy, oh boy, the cobwebs make you slow. Okay, yep, no luck. All right, take it easy.